Hey guys, this is Inverse, and today I will be casting a 1 versus 1 between Nystrom in the bottom left as the Wehrmacht player and his opponent Lone Chaos in the top right as the American player. Nystrom will be playing Terror and his opponent Lone Chaos will be playing Infantry. Lone Chaos actually sending his first Engineer out to cap, so we might actually be seeing the forward HQ in one of these two buildings like we saw in the last game I casted with CU and Taylor. Nystrom sending his Burgers Pioneers out. Interesting to note he isn't capping this plus 10 munitions up here. Instead he's capping this strap point in the middle. He's probably going to try to rush to the plus 16 munitions up here might even wire this little area off that's pretty common it's a little risky because you miss out on that plus 10 munitions and if you forget to capture this that's a lot of munitions since 10 a minute you f you forget to capture it for say 10 minutes that's 100 munitions right there that you could have that you do not now lone chaos is getting his or did get his forward barracks up so we're going to see some rifles coming out there, and he will most likely transition into some sort of fast M8 or fast Sherman build. Because it's pretty easy to secure your fuel on some wah. It's difficult, especially for a Wehrmacht player, to harass that fuel. And if you OP it, you get 8 extra, and it's very easy to rush vehicles. Pyo in the middle, and oh, Volks coming into support, so this Pyo should be fine. Lone Chaos might actually have to back out of there accomplished Volks Grenadier in there, but he does have the healing of the forward barracks to fall back to, so Nystrom probably won't win this battle. Very powerful positioning of that hedge, going to make it very difficult to pick this rifle squad off. Actually, he's going to move out and try to capture this plus five munitions point. Very interesting idea. However, Nystrom's MG has just finished, so that's going to help him secure the middle a little better. No, not even going to go cap. Maybe going to go try to harass the fuel very early. Nystrom did not wire it off. So it's going to be very easy for Lone Chaos to <laughs> to decap this fuel point. However, Nystrom being a little cheeky, gonna try to decap the Ford HQ, of course, probably isn't going to work because another rifle squad spawns. And all Lone Chaos has to do is pop that rifle squad in the Ford HQ and it'll stop the Volks from decapping it and losing a lot of guys or not a lot of guys but a lot of health on that Volk squad squad down here finally harassing this point Nystrom did lose a lot of health on this Volk squad that'd be a big deal if it was not a hero squad but because it's a hero squad it has that passive health regeneration so he's gonna be fine just gotta stay out of combat for a little bit he is however capping and one shot because he's capping under fire actually kills one of those Volk squads Engagement up top. These pioneers should come out ahead over these. Oh, maybe not. Nope, nope. These pioneers are screwed. If he doesn't retreat, he might lose them. No, he gets out in time. So, Lone Chaos actually managed to decap this point fully and almost completely caps it. You can see flag almost at the top, and there it is. So, he <laughs> capped back the entirety of that point. He won't get any resource income from that, but it's going to delay. Nystrom's fuel income significantly and just this simple fact means Lone Chaos can pretty much guarantee Nystrom won't be going some sort of fast tech build because he won't have the or the fuel necessary you see he doesn't have he has plus five fuel income right now plus five munitions income so he's really I'd say in a bit of trouble right now I mean personally I find some more to be an extremely oh I missed something in the middle rifles trying to flam. I personally find Samoa to be an extremely American favored map of course some people I think even Nystrom he disagrees with me he likes his Wehrmacht on Samoa but this is the big problem of Samoa what you see the mini map oh man lost an entire rifle squad so he might have just thrown away his advantage right there but as you can see, if you let your opponent harass, look at all the red on this minimap for Nystrom. He has literally no income other than the... He doesn't even have a munitions income right now because he was cut off right here. Just getting that back right now. And is anything going on? No, nothing going on in Lone Star's base. Check out the 
tactical map for a second, we see one, two rifle squads only because he did lose that one rifle squad. Going up against Nystrom's two hero bulk squads. This one, I believe, is close combat. This one is accomplished. And the MG in a good position in the middle. Did he just get another rifle squad? He might have just gotten another rifle squad. No, he's getting a barracks now. So he's kind of admitting defeat. That's a very interesting, interesting idea for him to get a barracks after this forward barracks and he's gonna get bars so I guess he feels fairly comfortable Lone Star that is in his harassment earlier and oh no capping under fire quick capping folks in the middle took a lot of damage actually gonna hop in that church which is gonna give him a lot of defense but isn't going to let them deal much damage because if you look around there's only really one building in the front that units can shoot out of however the MG is not a good spot, going to be able to suppress him. But as I was saying, interesting choice for him to get that barracks. Actually, I really don't like his positioning of that barracks. Even though it's late, you really want that barracks up here because what you want to do is when you retreat your squads and you're reinforcing them, you want to issue the reinforcement orders and then issue a move order to your barracks, which should be up here. And the reason you want to do that is because you are still going to be able to reinforce and when your units are done reinforcing they're going to be up here instead of back here and that's just a little bit less movement time for you medic station where's that medic station medic station going up pretty common on this map not many players use it however i shouldn't say it's common it's a good thing to get nothing wrong with that that's for sure and as you notice nystrom still hasn't capped this plus 10 munitions it is now six almost seven minutes into the game 70 munitions he could have gained by capping that point just a a small thing to note. Oh, missing stuff everywhere. And seal popping on the Volk. And hmm, yeah, these Volks aren't gonna win this one. They might actually be able to take out this. Nope, not gonna take out the rifle. Gonna escape with one man. However, MG in the building right there. Let's switch back to Nystrom's view. See what he's doing tech-wise. I actually don't know if he's in tier two right now. Oh yes, he is in tier two. Getting the building up right now. And heh. <laughs> MG emplacement in the middle. Really don't like this. Really don't like this. Waste of fuel, waste of manpower in my opinion. Nystrom's not an idiot. He's not going to get caught in this more than a few times. It's really not going to pay for itself in the long run. I mean, it's an, it's an inconvenient, how, inconvenience. However, Nystrom forces a retreat and gets a, a few Volk squads over here. And it's going to die just to the Volk squads. He gets a mortar firing on it or a pack and it's gonna die in no time mg still sitting back here he has two mgs on the field now so saw those bars and got an extra tier one unit you look right now he has two volks three volks actually and two mgs pretty common if you see bars to get five tier one units just because your opponent's not going to be able to rush vehicles because he wasted all that manpower and fuel on the bars so you're going to have a lot of time to get your pack on the field, meaning it's a lot safer to extend your tier 1. 5 unit tier 1. Ooh, you see the wire right here. Very good wire by Nystrom. Going to keep his opponent off guard. Going to make his opponent walk all the way around here. Camo rifles. Uh, anyways, MG in the middle. Going to shoot at the medic station. However, <laughs> camo flamers. Because why flank when you can camouflage your entire force and run behind the MG? Mortar going to shoot at the, the engineers here. And the engineers might not. Got, oh, one shell takes out the entire squad. Unlucky there from Lone Chaos. It does happen though. Especially when you're capping and you get that received accuracy penalty. These rifles in a lot of trouble up here might actually lose them. And no, they should be fine. However, Nystrom is in a pretty good spot right now. You look at the map control. He has been able to fight his way back into this game. Now getting a Grenadier. Probably going to Shrek that once he has the 75 munitions. And that is his first Gren. So he'll probably get a pack next. Might actually get another Gren given how his opponent... He'd get pretty late bars because he had to invest in this as well as... Oh, four men. And is he throwing an assault? Oh. 
what Nystrom did right there was he popped assault grenades a little bit early. And assault grenades aren't like regular grenades. You can't cancel them just by canceling the animation. If you move at all or if your opponent, for example, is in a building and then gets out of a building, the ability cancels and you lose the 50 munitions and you never get them back. Hey, more camo. Yay, camo. Yay, camo. I hate camo. And is he getting anything? No, he has a lot of manpower. I'll get him a second grand. So he feels confident. Hey, another MG emplacement. So extremely high level MG placement by this American player. Once again, playing static, which isn't what you want as an American player, you'll notice Nystrom has the entirety of the map almost. He has the middle, which is extremely difficult to break once you let an American opponent get the middle of the map and he is now capping up the left hand side lone chaos in a bit of trouble right now and he's he's just being too passive at this point in the game he needs to be far more aggressive infantry doesn't have much in terms of late game strength not in the way that airborne does with their supply drops and obviously armor does with all of their stuff camo capping that is always fun and these camoed rifles are going to be revealed and aren't going to be able to do anything. Do they have grenades? They do have grenades. So <laughs> Nystrom is going to love seeing that. He's probably going to not even get a pack now. Does he have a pack on the field? No he doesn't. He is probably not even going to worry about a pack for a little bit longer. You see getting another grin right there. I'm actually surprised he didn't get a sniper. And the reason for this is his opponent has now invested 100 fuel in infantry technology. 60 in the bars and 40 in the grenades. Uh, gonna hit. Oh no! Dodges that mine. Sixth sense by Nystrom. Stops right in front of that mine over there that was planted in camo by the engineers. Minesweepers revealing this mine. However, he wasn't able to disarm the mine before the MG almost completely killed it and when this this engineer retreats I'll have to see if he has the minesweeper radius bonus sure he does that nice from trying to decap this point again not gonna work with those bars eating his face it, oh grenade nice grenade goes off and is this squad re yes reinforcing but it's not gonna be enough nice I'm gonna be forced to retreat and as I was mentioning the fragility of these MG emplacements, a few barrages, and this MG is already down to half health and going to be dropping even further. And Lone Chaos can't do anything about it because of this MG right here and these Volks in the middle. Nystrom's going to be content to sit back with his resource advantage and wait for his late game power to kick in. Actually, surprised he doesn't have. What's he getting? He's getting a pack right now, just in case, and it's probably a good idea given how the supply yard is up. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten a comp craft center at this point in the game. Knowing Nystrom's style, he likes heavy tier two with infantry vet, and he doesn't even have a bunker up yet. Might be, might be worried about camo engineers demo charging or flaming out a bunker. Oh, oh, is this squad gonna go down? No. And he's gonna toss. No, he's not gonna toss the MG in the building. Smart decision, laying it instead in the open and oh this squad is probably going to die no he's not going to die yes he is going to die ouch so that's a big blow 290 manpower down the drain those close combats did do a lot however it's always always a bad thing when you lose when you lose squads mid game and not deterred from his first MG emplacement going down Lone Chaos is going to be throwing another one up really playing far too static for an American player he needs to be more aggressive. I don't really know what he's going to be able to do this game. Does this? No, he doesn't have the radius increase. That's too bad. He won't, we won't be able to laugh at how amazingly overpowered the level 2 minesweeper radius bonus is. Still no compcraft center for Nystrom. He has so many grands. He needs at least vet 1 right now. You see this grand low health. This, if I can select it, this grand fairly low health. Vet 1 would at least get, grant them the moderate health rigid. Eh, health regeneration they need to to at least be a little more effective and <laughs> nice from seeing that second MG emplacement now so he's going to be repositioning his mortar and then try to take that out good MG position right here by Nystrom don't really see this very often and oh no however artillery coming down does he see it yeah, I don't think he sees it he doesn't see it these two 
weapons teams are not going to survive. Wait, are they? Oh, no, Kenji dies. But the mortar 